Not all dogs are small, fluffy, and adorable. Some are huge beasts. And while some are huge but nice, like Clifford the Big Red Dog, some are big and fearsome. Some could even rival a wolf in a brawl. Yeah, really, these are dog breeds that can defeat wolves. Number 15. The Anatolian Shepherd Dog There are possibly no dog breeds in the world more capable of defeating a wolf than the Anatolian Shepherd Dog, which was literally bred to protect sheep and other livestock from the most dangerous threats in the wild. These fanged guards lurk around the protected livestock like a guard patrolling the perimeters of a castle. If they spot something advancing towards them, they are more than capable of holding their own in a fight, with a bite force much stronger than that of a wild wolf. These large, powerful dogs are one of the most robust breeds in the world, with the purpose of their breeding usually being specifically for warding off the biggest of the big predators. Not only does this include wolves, but bears and even cheetahs fall into this category. Along with being built like a tank, it would be pretty useless if they gas out with ease. But the Anatolian Shepherd has a phenomenal stamina, meaning trying to tire one of these guys out to gain an advantage just won't work. The Turkish Anatolian Shepherd dog makes any wild wolf look more like a domesticated puppy than a fearsome foe. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Central Asian Shepherd Dog The Central Asian Shepherd Dog is an ancient dog with a long line of guarding heritage under its collar. And there's a reason why people have been continuously going back to this breed of dog when looking for some protection. With a huge physique packed to the snout with muscle, the Central Asian Shepherd Dog, or Alibi, is a terrifying sight to see. <laughs> While they might be pretty friendly when approached in the right way, be sure not to startle or try to intimidate these titans, as if they feel like their tail is against the wall, they will unleash a level of carnage which is frankly murderous. The Danes are pretty smart people, as they have banned this breed from entering their borders. But if a whole nation is scared of being near a breed of dog, then you probably should be too. While wolves might be intimidating, one on one, the alibi would tear it apart. And that's just fact. Throw in the fact that the alibi is known for its fearlessness in confronting large predators, and you have a war for the ages if the two were to go at it. Number 13. The Sarplaninac Dog the Sarplaninac dog might have a mouthful of a name, but they certainly don't mind sinking their teeth into any oncoming predators either. From Macedonia, Albania, and Kosovo's mountainous regions, the Sarplaninac has some of the most intense natural protective instincts of any breed. While they might not be the biggest of dogs, with an average height of about 25 inches and 100 pounds in weight, this is more than made up for in their personality characteristics. <coughs> With an incorruptible will and intelligent, undying aggression to their game, if you're a predator and you see a Sarplaninac standing guard, it would probably wise to just turn around and find food elsewhere. That goes for wolves too, as no matter how big a wolf comes running towards this breed, it will not back down to anyone, no matter the size difference. The Sarplaninac is such an instinctual dog that almost as soon as they're born, they harbor intense hunting skills, and if if there are no livestock to protect, the dog will guard their carer like they were a newborn child. Number 12. The Dogo Argentino the Dogo Argentino looks like a dog you would expect to be guarding the gates of hell, and whilst that might sound like an overstatement, the reality is, it's really not. This large and powerful dog is one of the most intimidating dogs on the planet, with it being banned in multiple countries around the world, and for good measure. <laughs> 
with the Dogo Argentino being literally bred to hunt wild boar and other big game, the prospect of it standing off against a wolf is not that big of a deal in comparison. While wolves are obviously dangerous animals, the Dogo Argentino is as fearless as they come with a physique to cause any predators to run back home crying. Though it's worth saying that they are great family dogs, with their excellent companionship having you feeling more than protected. Although, at least the fact that they're so widely banned in many countries means that it's unlikely for you to come across one of these beasts when out for a jog in the park. In a fight between this dog breed and a wolf, my money is certainly on the Dogo Argentino. Number 11. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog the Caucasian Shepherd Dog is literally known as a wolf killer. So unless there's a lot of fake news being spewed by its breeders, then surely they can defeat a wolf in a fight. Although the Caucasian Shepherd Dog is a great protector against wolves and other giant beasts of nature, Surprisingly, the wolf actually has a bite force which is more than double that of this dog. This breed of dog does dwarf the wolf in size, but the craftiness of a wolf can pose more than a few problems for the Caucasian Shepherd dog, particularly if they're stuck one-on-one. -on -one. In reality, the Caucasian Shepherd dog usually moves about in packs, so they are more than a match for a wolf or two appearing and trying to grab themselves a cheap takeaway meal. That order would get hastily declined by the teamwork of these dogs, with their trembling howl usually being enough to stop a wolf from even attempting to run away with dinner in their mouth. Number 10. The Tosa the Tosa is a rare breed of dog which is made all the more special by it being the only breed which is currently legally used in Japanese dog fighting. If it's specifically chosen to fight other dogs, you would think it would be good at scrapping with a wolf, surely. especially as wolves are closely related to dogs. Despite being a quietly affectionate breed, the marvelous Tosa is actually pretty aggressive with strangers. With a beautiful coat that comes in a range of colors such as apricot, red, and black, the Tosa might not take too kindly to an approaching intruder, but they are remarkably known to be good towards humans. Great news for us, not so good for everything else. With a powerful build that takes until they are four years of age to fully mature, the Tosa is a dangerous breed, with its notoriety meaning that ownership of one of these majestic beasts is restricted in a lot of countries. With a tremendously powerful jaw, which is only matched by the Tosa's aggression, pain tolerance, and intelligence, this is one dog a wolf would be smart to avoid. Number 9. The Irish Wolfhound there isn't a more famous breed from the country of Ireland than the Irish Wolfhound. The huge sighthound dog breed has many impressive attributes, which make it one of the best dogs at dispatching wolves and any other beasts of nature. While its speed was used to chase after and take down game, the famed guardian dog has also been the subject of immense inspiration for countless pieces of literature and mythology. There's no doubt that one of its standout characteristics is its size, which is a lofty height averaging about 35 inches high and 180 pounds in weight. The Irish Wolfhound isn't a subtle dog by any means. Its ability to stand out and make its presence known is a great warning sign for any animals to think twice before descending on the herd of animals under this legendary dog's protection. Back in the day, the Irish Wolfhound was even known to scrap with lions and bears, making the proposition of fighting a wolf look like light work. So yeah, it could definitely defeat a wolf if one were to be brave enough to go paw to paw with this dog from the Emerald Isle. Number 8. Boar Bull if you're gonna pick a fight with a wolf, then having bags of confidence and a track history of being aggressive is a good place to start. One dog which certainly ticks these boxes is the intimidating Borbles dog breed. With an ingrained ability to defend homes from terrifying predators, this is one breed you would certainly want near your house if you lived in a wild and dangerous environment. These bright and eager dogs are about 27 inches in height and probably way more than yourself thanks to their absolutely jacked physique, which is tipped off by a blockhead with a powerful jaw that could dish out a devastating bite 
that you would not want to be on the receiving end of. This agile mastiff needs firm training when it's young to rein its confidence in a little bit and get it more obedient. Imagine trying to tell one of these scary dogs no. Good luck to any wolf wanting to scrap with one of these brutes, that's all I'll say. Number 7. Wolf Dog what better breed of dog to take down a wolf than one which is actually half wolf? In steps the wolf dog, with one parent being a domesticated dog and the other being a wild wolf, the best of both worlds. While this is kind of like a Romeo and Juliet scenario where two types who don't usually mix end up mixing, there's nothing romantic about the levels of aggression and violence which a wolf dog can dish out. <laughs> With some of these animals being very happy and docile animals which blended to domesticated family life well, they have a higher chance than other breeds to be violent towards humans and other animals. This might not sound great for handling one of these fearsome furry friends, but that also means that they are more than capable of going toe to toe with a wolf. The likelihood of this clash happening was high thanks to the wolf dog originally being used as working dogs and made to pull sleighs and fend off predators, but if you were looking for a dog to become a pet, then it would be smart to look elsewhere, as wolf dogs are one of the most likely breeds of dog to cause a fatality to a human from a chomp with their teeth. Number 6. The Bully Cutta the Bully Cutta certainly lives up to its name. The Molosser type dog is usually found lurking in the Indian subcontinent where it's also known as the Alangu Mastiff. Usually found in the rural countryside under the ownership of wealthy farmers, the Bully Cutta is known across the land for its size and strength, which is regularly exploited in the dog fighting market. While this breed can no doubt terrorize whoever they want, the word bully actually comes from the languages of Sindhi and Hindi Urdu as Bully which hilariously means heavily wrinkled, while the word cutta means simply dog. As well as dog fighting, this huge breed is used effectively as guard dogs, with their well-muscled limbs making them a viable foe for any creature, including local wolves. With a thick bone structure and the ability to grow as tall as 42 inches and weigh as much as 200 pounds, this is one dog which would certainly have a wolf leaving with its tail tucked between its legs. Number 5. The Ban Dog the Ban Dog is a type of dog which was created in the belly of a laboratory with ferocious results. Through careful selection of parents, with the quality of health and the dog's temperament being some of the careful characteristics which are of priority, the breeders hope to get the best of both halves. With the courage and tenacity of an American Pit Bull Terrier and the huge size and guarding instincts of a Mastiff, the end result is a Ban Dog, or in other words, a huge problem problem for any wolf. Standing up to 29 inches tall with a body weighing up to 140 pounds, Band Dogs are hard-working dogs with sturdy bone structures and terrifying muscles which are made all the more terrifying when you sparkle into tendency to act ferociously when provoked. Number 4. Cane Corso Cane Corsos are one of those breeds of dogs which you would cross onto the other side of the road if you saw one walking in your direction, no matter how much of a handle the owner appears to have over it. With a lineage going back to Roman times, the name translates from Latin as bodyguard dog, which feels very appropriate when you have a look at these fine creatures. 28 inches at the shoulder and weighing more than 100 pounds, which is characterized by a huge head, alert expression, and massive muscles being barely able to be held under their skin, this is one dog which you would certainly feel its presence when it strutted into the room. While its intimidating look might have you feeling sorry for any cat this monster makes its next target, the Cane Corso are actually smart, trainable, and noble dogs to have around. Their confidence and stature make them perfect at scaring off intruders, including the scariest of wolves. Large muscles, extreme confidence, and impactful presence. Sounds more like a tattooed bodyguard outside of a club rather than a breed of dog. You would feel untouchable if you had a trained Cane Corso at your disposal. Although, asserting dominance over one of these will be as hard a task as any. If they ask you to change the channel on the TV, you oblige, no questions asked. Number 3. The British Mastiff 
The British Mastiff is the kind of dog that makes all other breeds look rather inferior. While it's difficult to say what is the largest breed of dog out there, British Mastiffs are certainly in the running. If you need any convincing, then just have a look at the 345 pound old English Mastiff by the name of Ikama Zorba, which is even certified by Guinness World Records. While these huge dogs with drooping mouths might look like they would dominate any animal you place in front of them, with wolves being no exception, they don't possess the greatest levels of endurance. This might not be good in terms of running a marathon, but it does mean that owning one of these mammoth-sized dogs is relatively easy work, with their heavy build meaning they only require one or two walks a day. A great leader and protector, the English Mastiff might have the capabilities to tear its foe in half at the flip of a switch, but they also possess the patience to allow a child to play with them without the fear of it lashing out. With a fierce temper when it gets going, but an abundant amount of generosity also at its disposal, it's bizarre to think that this lovely breed was oh so very close to going extinct back in the day. Just after World War II, there were only seven English Mastiffs in England in 1947, due to their huge appetites being too big to be filled when rough wartime rations were existent in society. Imagine, they were even revered so much that they were allowed in Roman amphitheaters. Number 2. Canary Mastiff if the island of Gran Canaria is the typical location for your holidays, then you should be pretty familiar with the Canary Mastiff, or the Perro de Presa Canario. This dog breed is unbelievably the animal symbol of the island. But why would an island hold a breed of dog with such a theme? Well, if you're gonna choose any breed, then going for this rare, large, mollusser type dog isn't a bad shout, as this large, muscular dog is as strong as they come. Who wouldn't want a dog which was bred for its great guard capabilities and its ability to fight as their symbol, to be honest? The powerful and imposing Canary Mastiff is more than just a brute, however. With a balanced nature as well as an imposing appearance, which is symbolized by a height ranging from between 24 to 26 inches tall and a maximum weight of 155 pounds. With great athletic genes and a heavy build, this Canary Mastiff breed would make for a mean opponent against most breathing things, let alone a wolf. Number 1. Tibetan Mastiff Tibetan Mastiffs might look like big balls of fluff, but underneath that thick coat is a load of muscle and teeth that are extremely hard to kill. The Tibetan Mastiff is very defense-oriented, with its amazingly thick hide making it a real pain for predators to attack its vital areas. While the thick coat of fur might make the Tibetan Mastiff a viable candidate for a shampoo campaign, it also acts as a decent extra layer of protection from the jaws of attacking animals, which includes wolves. The heavy muscles and its terrific guarding capabilities make the Tibetan Mastiff a real pain for any predator to try and take down. It is even specifically evolved to avoid death when under attack from wolves, bears, snow leopards, and even tigers. While they can grow to up to 100 pounds in weight and 26 inches in height, the Tibetan Mastiff's greatest disadvantage in a scrap with a wolf is the wolf's speed. Yet, due to how difficult it is for anyone to actually kill a Tibetan Mastiff, Mastiff. The cost and threat far outweigh the reward of potentially slaying one of these fluffy killers. It's crazy that these breeds are of the same family as Chihuahuas. What animal would you want protecting you from a wolf attack? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!